Hello friends, myself Dr. Ashwak and in this video I will explain you about the Becker muscular dystrophy. What is Becker muscular dystrophy? What are the causes of Becker muscular dystrophy? What are the symptoms of Becker muscular dystrophy? What is the life expectancy of a person who is suffering with Becker muscular dystrophy? How can we diagnose this problem? And is there any chance of treatment or improvement in this problem? If anyone is suffering with the Becker muscular dystrophy, how can we treat with homeopathic medicine? So all this I will explain in this video. In Becker muscular dystrophy, there is problem in the voluntary muscles. Voluntary muscles means the muscles which are under our control like the muscles of the hand, our arm and the legs. In Becker muscular dystrophy, the weakness starts from the hip area, then it goes to the pelvic area, then thigh and then to the leg. Then it comes to the shoulder and then in advanced condition, the weakness can come in the uh, muscles of the heart also. The name of the Becker muscular dystrophy, Becker, it comes from the name of the scientist or uh, the doctor, we can say German doctor, whose name was Peter Emil Becker, who discovered this muscular dystrophy. I will tell you about the causes of the Becker muscular dystrophy because this is the genetic problem. So, the mutation of the gene which is located on the X chromosome, if there is any mutation or any change in the gene which is responsible for the production of a protein which is called the dystrophin and this dystrophin protein is responsible for the strength of the muscles. But when we expand and contract our muscle, there is something degeneration or breaking of the muscles takes place which makes the muscles weak and if the protein that is called the dystrophin is available then what will happen it will not allow the weakening of the muscles so the main cause is mutation in the genes that is located on the x chromosome and this gene is responsible for the production or for the formation of a protein that is called the dystrophin in the absence of this dystrophin protein when we move our muscles, when there is contraction and expansion of the muscles, there is breakage or we can say wear and tear of the muscles takes place which will lead to the Becker muscular dystrophy. But when the dystrophin protein is functional in our body, then it will protect our muscles and it will not allow the muscles to wear and tear off. Now we'll discuss about the life expectancy of a person who is suffering with Becker muscular dystrophy generally. A person who is having this Becker muscular dystrophy can lead normal life as the other person but the life expectancy we can say if there is no weakening of the heart muscles or there is no weakness in the heart muscle. A person suffering with the Becker muscular dystrophy can survive up to 30 years of age and on an average when we talk about it is uh, it will go in the mid of the 40 years means between 40 to 50 years till that time a person with the Becker muscular dystrophy can survive. Now I will tell you how to diagnose this Becker muscular dystrophy. First thing is the physical examination and the family history. Any person who is having problem uh, while moving or while sitting or standing from the sitting position or while going up to on these up stairs or coming to the down stairs, then it means he is having some weakness in the muscle. So physical examination is first thing then after that family history. The physician or the expert will ask about the family history if any person or any other member of the family is suffering with the disease or not. Second is the blood test. In blood test there is testing of an enzyme that is called the CPK, creatine phosphokinase. When there is breakage of the muscle, so this enzyme is released because of the breaking of the muscles and its level in the blood will increase which will prove that there is some problem in the muscles which can lead to the muscular dystrophy also. Third point is muscle biopsy then after muscle biopsy there is genetic test also. After that one more test is there that is called electromyogram in which it is checked that whether the muscles weakness is because of the problem in the muscles or in the nerves. So this is checked by the test that is called electromyogram and the beginning of this muscles of the heart is checked by ECG. So these are different types of tests which will prove that a person which is having problem in walking, moving or any other movement in the hand or in the legs is having muscular dystrophy or the reason is something else. Now we'll discuss about any treatment, any other way by which we can lead to the improvement in this condition of the muscular dystrophy. 
so when we go to allopathic medicines in allopathic medicines multivitamin and some steroids are given but this steroids if they will give initially they will give some benefit but after some time the condition become worse in homeopathy many effective medicines are there which are having very good result on this problem in this problem especially no specific medicine is there which can be prescribed because the condition it differ person to person about the type of the muscular dystrophy what are the symptoms what is the age group and many other things have to be considered before prescribing the medicine